My sister's listening to music really loud right now. Don't know if you can hear that. If you can, I apologize because it's pretty bad music. This isn't really a preface, but I just want to put it out there. I've never wanted to do a review before for a book I didn't like. I only do reviews for books that I enjoy because I want to talk about them because I like them. But not this time. I really want to talk about this book and just get some things out there because They've just been bothering me for days since I finished this. I just need to talk about them. I'm going to be going off of a review I wrote at 3 a.m. when I finished this book days ago. So that's great. This is kind of more of a rant review on here than a review review. We'll see how it goes. The very beginning of this will be spoiler free. Don't know what I'm really going to talk about but it'll be spoiler free. So let's talk about Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savit. Serret? Serret? This font, I don't know. Savit, I think. Savrit? I don't know. This is one of those books that I bought and just always assumed I would like. I don't know why. It just gave me the impression of something that I would really enjoy. It looks profound and nice. The synopsis is really cool and it takes place during World War II. You know, I'm a sucker for World War II books. I don't know why, but I am. I saw a few reviews for this calling it a modern classic. I just, I had pretty high expectations. I don't know if that's what ruined it for me but I don't think so. I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars and it might drop down to a 2.5 out of 5 stars still considering. Let's talk about what this baby is actually about. This follows 7 year old Anna in Poland in 1939 right before it's occupied or while it's occupied. I don't remember when it started out. I think it was like right before it became occupied. That was another reason I was really ready to read this book is because I've read a lot of World War II books but never one that actually took place in Poland. I really wanted to see what the characters would be going through with occupied Poland because Poland went through a lot in World War II. A lot of countries went through a lot but I think Poland really did go through a lot. But we just spent the whole time in the forest. We weren't like we weren't in civilization at all this whole book. We were just in the forest. We didn't know what was going on in Poland. The characters didn't know. We were just in the freaking forest. Anyway, follows Anna, and her father is a professor, and he's taken by the Germans, and she never sees him again. But right in the nick of time, she meets the Swallow Man, who is going to take care of her and help her survive. It's so weird. It's so weird. I had the impression that they were gonna have, like, a really cute father-daughter relationship, even though they weren't father and daughter, and I'd be a sucker for it, and it was gonna be really nice, and... It was just so weird. It was so weird. I do want to just mention some things I liked about this book though. The writing was really nice. It wasn't poetic. It was it was kind of hard to explain. I think I would have appreciated the writing more if it were for a different story. She just turned the music up. I'm gonna go crazy. If you're gonna have really poetic and descriptive writing, you need a strong plot to carry it along. It's just, it felt like nothing was happening. It felt like reading this was just trudging through mud for me. It was moving so slowly. It just, it always felt like nothing was happening because they were always explaining things and everyone was always thinking and talking about metaphors and not, they were just walking through the forest. I turned the things I liked about this book into another bad thing. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go into talking about spoilery things for this book. Read it if you want. Don't read it if you want. It's up to you. But I'm gonna go into a bit more detail now. Okay, bye. This book was so weird. It was so weird. Okay, so right off the bat, when Anna follows the small man into the forest, I kind of had a bad taste in my mouth. No matter how many times I told myself it was all innocent and it was all fine and they were just gonna have a friendship, it just, it made me feel weird. And I felt really bad for feeling this way. I thought, you know, we're supposed to love the small man and he's such a great guy and he saved Anna. But then reading the reviews of other people, I wasn't alone in this feeling. A lot of other people didn't like the Swallow Man, or at least felt uncomfortable with him and Anna being together, even though I also didn't like the Swallow Man, but we'll get into that later. This was especially amplified when the Swallow Man started teaching Anna road, or their language for surviving in the forest. Like, as great as his survival skills are, I just find them unrealistic. When it was explained how they got through the, what's it called, the boundaries, the passageways, did I write it down? The borders. The borders. When it was explained how they got through the borders and past the soldiers without the soldiers ever opening up their passports, all I could think about was how weird that was. No matter how great your people skills are or how much you can manipulate people, you just, what? Every soldier you passed, no matter what, 
was so inclined to talk to you and talk about their hometown that they just didn't even think to look at your passport or even crack it open a little bit to see that you're not the person in it? That's so weird. When they were talking about how Anna offers them fruit or whatever and is like really sweet, all I could think about is that scene from The Office when Daryl brings his kid in. He brings his kid in to like win sympathy points so he could be made manager and everyone's just like, and he just says, oh, this is a bad idea. No, 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 Jada, what are you doing? Oh, so sorry, guys. I hope my family didn't disrupt your meeting. Daddy, are these the people who are making you manager? <sighs> Maybe, sweetheart. <sighs> Single dad challenges. I don't know if he'd be a good manager, but he's a really great dad. Okay, Shasha, this was my thing. Let's go. That's all I can think about because it's so, it's so weird. And honestly, maybe that's just me being nitpicky, but that was in the beginning of the book when I, before I realized I didn't like it. So even saying that though, I'm not sure if I really hate this book or I like this book or I just, I don't know how I feel about this book. Even though I'm gonna be ragging on it a lot in this video, I don't know how I feel about this book. Honestly, I think, oh my God, it's a truck and then a giant trailer. Honestly, I think I'm just holding out on just saying I don't like the book because for so long I expected to love the book and I'm just holding out for the hope that for some reason I'll change my mind. Okay, but speaking of Anna, in what world is she seven years old? What seven year old thinks the way Anna thinks? Cause we're basically in her head the whole time but wait, it kind of confused me because we'll be in her head even though it's in third person. We'll be like in talking to Anna the whole time. But then she'll be asleep and we'll hear what the Swallow Man and Reb Herschel are saying. We'll hear their conversation, but then they'll point out that Anna is asleep. Is Anna secretly awake and we're hearing what she hears? Or is it just third person that's all over the place? Because I don't know. I read some reviews of people saying she never acted her age because she was never treated her age. But I feel like that can only be true to an extent. Like, yes, she can act more mature, but her brain has only developed so much. She can't possibly be thinking the things she thinks and understanding the things she understands. I don't understand. And can we just talk about the languages? In the beginning, it was pointed out how she knows so many languages and like she never actually speaks Polish with her dad and he taught her all these cool languages and then the Swallow Man happens to speak a bunch of languages as well. But they never talk more about those languages throughout the book. I thought it was gonna be a big part of the book, but it wasn't. The only time languages are mentioned is when they're going through borders and they switch between German and Russian, when she's speaking to her Herschel in Yiddish, and then at the very end of the pharmacy when she speaks German, I think, to that pharmacist who ends up being Polish and what? I really thought languages would play more of a role in the book when they were so emphasized in the beginning, but they really didn't. I just, I just, I don't know. But something that just really bothers me about the book is the lack of finality. Finality? Finality? Whatever. <laughs> we're never given any answers that the book poses to us. And sometimes that can be done well and make everything mysterious and it's all in the eye of the beholder, but sometimes it's just really frustrating. I want to start a petition on a number of unanswered questions an author is allowed to have in a book because I just, I wanted to throw it against a wall, honestly. The whole time I was just holding out for the end of the book when we would finally get the explanation of who the Swallow Man is and it never came. The one unanswered, oh, upside down. The one unanswered question I did understand was the uncertainty in Rob Herschel's death. I hope I'm saying his name right. I actually assumed while reading it that he had hung himself. What? Okay, I'm filming. You're filming? Yes. Well, this is urgent. What's urgent? Come to the door. It really wasn't that urgent. My feet are really, really asleep. Also, awesome. I thought Rob Herschel actually killed himself, even though it didn't make any sense. But I pushed past that because nothing in this book really made sense. But then again, reading what other people thought, a lot of people said that he was killed by Germans and that's why he was killed that way. And that makes sense too. Another thing that kind of bothered me is that Anna puts his brass, whatever, clarinet thing in her sock and I assumed that in an epilogue or something we would see her after the war and she would maybe get this little piece fixed and then put it in her own clarinet and then she'd play the clarinet or it would play some part in her life or would at least be mentioned again. It wasn't. It was never mentioned again. I also imagined Reb Herschel as like a 40 or 50 year old man with like big red cheeks and he was supposed to be like 20 years old and I remember that halfway through his own story and I was like 
Oops. But with the Swallow Man, we don't know anything. And it's not even just it's in the eye of the beholder and whatever you think happened, happened. It's just frustrating. Because we have all these little bits and pieces of his life, but none of them seem to connect at all. We have his baby shoe, which I take to mean he had a daughter. Who died? How did she die? Did she have a mother? Did the mother die? Was he separated from them? Were they divorced? Did she get custody? Did he get custody? What? I don't know. Then we have his weird condition, which I assumed was some sort of mental condition. Then it turns out he took some medicine that I can't remember the name of that treats thyroid problems, and I don't know the symptoms of a thyroid condition, but does it make you do what he did? We don't even know the Swallow Man's real name. I just want to know his real name. He was a professor, which just kind of seems kind of cheap, to be honest. Like, oh, of course, he was a professor. Yeah, he's tall and lanky, and he wears tweed suits, so he has to be professor. I wanted some deep dark secret thing to be wrong with him and that's why he was acting so weird. I thought when we were in that abandoned mansion we were finally gonna get the answer of what was wrong with him or who he was or something but uh, no he just said he was a demon. Even that would have been better than what actually ended up happening which was nothing. Oh yeah we also are left to assume that his daughter's name was Greta because he called Anna Greta and then he told the fisherman that she was Greta and he didn't seem surprised at all and he was like, oh, she's so big, so lovely. How does he know this fisherman? How does he know the people in the house? What was he talking to people in the house about when they were like, if we do this, we're going to get in trouble. And he was like, it's okay, whatever. Was that when he sent Anna away? Was that the favor he was asking of them? Why did he tell Anna that she could kill the fisherman? I thought the fisherman was going to do something to her. Which I don't think is that bizarre of a conclusion to come to after what happened in the pharmacy. Out of nowhere. For no reason. It just made me uncomfortable. How old was she at that point? 10? 12? I think she was like 12. I get that this happened in real life. Still happens in real life. But the way the author went about it was just kind of weird. It happened really fast. We didn't really get any of Anna's thoughts throughout the process of it happening. I don't know, it feels like what had happened to her in the pharmacy would have been an integral part of her and her emotions and her feeling because that is a horrible thing to go through and at 12 years old it just seems it's so horrible but it's kind of just brushed aside like oh yep that happened oh Anna hates herself now but you know whatever I did like when she went to the pharmacy to get the pills and she was kind of having this huge internal conflict because she wasn't following a swallow man's rules I thought that I just said that like a southern accent I thought that was written really well and just seeing how it conflict she was with herself and I liked that part. I thought that was actually one of the most interesting parts in the book. Just so many things frustrated me with this book. I really wish I kept tabs, but I didn't even think to do that. So next time, next time. Why is she going to this island? I, we finally, finally see who the Swallow Man really is or who he is under this huge facade or whatever. And the second he opens up to Anna, he sends her away. She saves his life and in return he sends her away and she's fine with it. She doesn't even care. Why couldn't he have gone to this island with her? Why was she going to an island? What island was it? I have so many questions. I was really expecting at least an epilogue. In a lot of historical fiction books there's an epilogue of what the characters do after the war because that's just what the reader wants to know. It just makes us happy to know what happens. She could have died five minutes. I just ran out of memory on my card but honestly it was at the end of my review anyway so I'm just gonna end it here because I'm too lazy to go fish out another card and see if it actually works. Because I'm a memory card hoarder and I keep cards even when they don't work. Fun. So that's my review for Anna and the Swallow Man. Probably the nastiest review I've ever done, but somehow just uh, feels good. A uh, weight off my shoulders, honestly. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!